Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the browser on the Samsung AU9070. Along with that, we are also going to take a look at the PC on TV mode on the Samsung AU9070. Now, the browser and the PC on TV are uh, some of the features which come in the entire lineup of Samsung TVs this year in 2021. So if you are planning to pick up any of the Crystal 4K Pro TV series, like uh, the AUE 60 or 70, which are the online models, and the equivalent of these online models would be the AU 7500 and 7700 respectively. Then there is the AU 8000 and then the top of the line model, which is the AU 9070. So when it comes to the AU or the AUE series, well, all of these TVs have the browser and also the PC on TV mode. So in case you're planning to purchase this, and in case you want to find out you know, more about uh, the browser and this particular feature called the PC on TV, then, hey, you've come to the right place. Stay tuned till the end of the video. It's going to be a short video where we're just going to be focusing on these two features because even in my detailed review of the AU9070, I did not cover these features in detail. Um, now, having said that, detail does not mean it's going to be a lengthy video. This is going to be one of my shorter videos. But um, hopefully through this video, you'll get to find out all about these features. So let's get started, folks. What you need to do is head over to the browser. Now, the browser sits on your app tray. You see that app tray? And right where the app icon says Internet, that is your browser. And all you got to do is just quickly head over to your browser, click on that app icon called Internet, and there you have it. Now you are connected to the browser, and uh, I'm controlling this through my Bluetooth mouse. And as you can see, I don't know if the camera is able to capture this properly or not, because I do record all my videos in 24 frames per second, but it's uh, very smooth. Uh, the whole experience is quite smooth. Now, let's say for instance, you know, I do want to take a look at some information online. And this is why you needed the keyboard, right? The typing experience is so much better. Well, here you have it. So in case I want to take a look at my YouTube channel from here, I can take a look at it from the browser as well. But if you want any information, for instance, I'm just going to type in Synoptic Gospels. There was a spelling mistake, but hey, YouTube is, uh, sorry, Google has got me covered there. So. Now, all of this, you can surf very easily, all right? No problems whatsoever. And it's as good as surfing on your computer. So it's that good an experience. So the browser is really handy and uh, you can do quite a lot with your browser. It works exactly how it would work on a computer. You can add tabs if you want to. So on this other tab, you know, if I want to take a look at something else, let's say I want to take a look at Amazon as an example. So I could just, you know, click on Amazon and well, you have it. So I'm now taking a look at Amazon from the browser tab and you can open up many browsers. You can close those browsers as well and you can keep adding the browsers. Uh, it's quite fast. It's quite snappy. And I really appreciate the fact that uh, it all works seamlessly thanks to the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse as well. The uh, surfing experience is quite good. So this is the browser feature. Now let's quickly take a look at the PC on TV feature as well. Now for the PC on TV mode, what you need to do is you need to head over to source right there. And you have many options there like TV, PlayStation, your pen drive, hard drives, if they are connected. And you also have this option called PC on TV that you see right here. Now, as soon as you click on this, the PC on TV will lead you to this particular screen where you have many options like Windows PC, Mac, Samsung, Dex. Now, in case you're wondering what exactly does this do? Well, in simple words, it just helps you connect your PC or your Mac machine or even a Samsung phone which uh, has this DeX support over to your television, which is your Samsung AU9070 in this case or any of the Samsung AU series, right? I mean the Crystal Pro 4K series. It helps you connect your computer with this TV wirelessly, meaning you don't need to connect it through an HDMI cable and there are not going to be any hanging wires, etc. Now, in my previous video, one of the videos that is, where I have done a detailed review of the Samsung AU9070, I have shown how I connected my Mac machine, which was the iMac, to this particular TV. 
using the AirPlay feature. So I've already tested, tested you know, I mean the Mac um, side of things and it works fine. Now the PC side of things, unfortunately, I do not have a Windows machine at home. And the same goes for a Samsung DeX as well. I do not have a Samsung phone which has the DeX support. In fact, I don't have a Samsung phone <laughs> at all. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you what the Samsung DeX does or what the Windows PC does. And for the Mac one, you could just refer back to the uh, detailed review of the Samsung AU9070. I'm gonna put up a link somewhere here. So in case you wanna click on it, you wanna watch it, you can do that completely. Now, apart from that, you have the Microsoft 365, which is nothing but the Microsoft suite of applications. So when you click on that, you have some options here and those options are your suite of applications just like it, the name suggests microsoft 365 you've got word you've got excel you've got powerpoint you've got outlook so even uh, if you want to set up your email you can do that right here and access it from this now you've got onedrive in case you want to store some information on the cloud then uh, you can do that and access it through onedrive you've got teams in case you want to connect with your colleagues You've got OneNote in case you want to take notes. You've got a to-do list. You've got a family safety, a calendar. You've even got Skype. So in case you want to connect with your family or friends, you can connect via Skype. So all of this is here. Now, some of the most commonly used applications from uh, the Office suite of applications would be your Word. So let's quickly open up Word and uh, let's head over to a blank document. Now, before I start typing anything, I do want to quickly mention that the keyboard that I'm using in this example is not a great keyboard. Now, uh, I've had problems with this keyboard in terms of connectivity. So even when I've connected this uh, to my iPad, um, I've had a bad response. So it's not a great example of showing uh, how you can type on uh, Microsoft Word here. Um, so I'm just going to quickly mention that because in case there is some kind of a delay or if I'm punching in you know anything on the keyboard and if it's not reflecting here it's not because of the TV it's actually because of my keyboard but what I've mentioned here um, will change in case you have access to a wired uh, keyboard I think a wired keyboard will work much better so if you have a USB wired keyboard you can just connect it to any one of the USB ports behind the television and you can take advantage of that and I'm sure the typing experience is going to be comparatively better now, the first thing that I noticed when I tried to head into Word was, I don't know if you were keeping a track while I was blabbering all this stuff, was that it did take quite some time to load up. So there is a lag, there is a delay. Now, please note that my internet connection, well, it gives me 300 Mbps. So I would say it's not the fastest, but hey, it's respectable. It's quite fast. 300 Mbps is fast. It's not, it's not a slow internet connection uh, by any means. Now, I did see a lag. So there was a lag. <laughs> all right. There was clearly a lag. Now, this is all right. You see, now this part, it's not because of the lag of the TV. It's because of my keyboard. All right. So this, blame it on the keyboard, not on the TV. But the loading time of that Word application you can blame that on the TV. Now, please note that all of this is happening through the browser application actually. So here's the secret sauce. <laughs> all of this is running through the browser. So if I just head over to the top portion, here you can see that's my Microsoft Office Home and here is the Word document. So it's actually opened up in a tab. So this is happening all through the browser. The browser basically drives this. So that could be one of the reasons as to why we saw that delay. There is a slight delay, but this seems okay once it loads. So this was fine. Although, you know, again, my keyboard is not that great, but hey, the experience is not bad, you know, once it did load up. So let's say I want to, you know, come out of this word. By the way, if you want to save this file, you can save the file. It works exactly how it would on a desktop. All right. So let's say I want to quit this and I want to come out of it now. Okay. So to quit it, all you got to do is just close that tab and you're again back at this home screen. Now let's open up an Excel uh, file very quickly. So let's say I go with a blank workbook. 
All right, so I double click on the blank workbook. And as you can see, it's taking some time to load up. So, hey, it's not all fast and snappy, all right? It's not like that. So it's, <laughs> this does take some time. Now click and drag. This is one of those things, you know, that everybody loves doing on the Excel. So let's see whether that works. Voila, works fine, works like a charm. Let's put in some, let's punch in some numbers as well. Okay, so I've punched in three numbers. I think it should be enough. So I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna go over to insert and I'm gonna click on that pivot. Does this work? The moment of truth. It does, well, it does, it kind of works. So uh, you can create pivots. And in case you wanna create any graphs, pie charts, etc., all of that is here as well. So it, it kind of is very similar to what you would experience on a desktop or on a laptop. So the experience is very similar. Now, let's say I wanna head out of this. So I wanna go back to uh, some other application, all right? Let's go over to PowerPoint, okay? So I clicked on that and I clicked on PowerPoint. Okay, let's open up a presentation, all right? So this time, I'm not gonna go with a blank presentation. I'm in fact gonna select from one of the options which are already available. So let's click on a template. Let's say I click on this, Atlas. So as soon as you click on that, well, as you can see, it does take some time to load. Now, please note, this is not a computer, all right? So we haven't got any PC, any Mac machine connected to this. All of this is happening on your TV. And given that it's happening on the TV, well, it's kind of respectable. So it's not your go-to option. It should not be a primary option. It's in fact an alternative. It can't exactly uh, be a direct substitute and it can't replace your PC or your laptop. So, hey, these are feel-good features. Don't expect too much from it. But hey, it's always good to have them around. All right, so that brings me to the end of this video. And uh, thank you so much for sticking around till the end of the video. In case I have missed out on anything, and uh, if you wanna ask me any questions about the browser or the PC on TV mode, then feel free to reach out to me through the comment section. Also, if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button, what are you waiting for? It's free. Please do go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It really means a lot to me and it encourages me to put out more videos for all you lovely folks. And speaking of putting out videos, in case you wanna get notified with all my latest videos, well, then you've gotta hit the bell icon as well. And um, I thank you so much for your love and support again. Um, you lovely folks have made my channel now reach 2,500 subscribers. I can't thank you enough for it. And in fact, this has been my fastest 500 subscribers ever. So. <laughs> Uh, big kudos, big shout out to all you lovely folks who did hit that like and subscribe button. It really means a lot to me again. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, that's a wrap for this one. Thank you for watching. And until we meet again in the next video, folks, this is me signing off. Take care, stay safe, and may God bless you all.